I'm supposed to talk about my most embarrassing moment this week on the Ponder Project. Um, I do have one that I remember, and since it's the only one that I do remember, I'm assuming that that is my most embarrassing moment. Although, oh, I have two. I have two really, really good ones that are horrifying. Um, the first one, I was in high school or junior high. I think it might have been junior high, I'm not sure. Which was terrible times for me anyway, junior high and high school. Um, uh, Kathy, one of our friends, she's been my sister and my my friend for a long time. She was there with me in the hallway at high school, at junior high or high school, whatever. And um, I had boots that had hooks where the laces sit in. And I crossed my feet and leaned against the locker. And then when we were done talking, I went to uncross my feet and take a step. But instead of them uncrossing, they hooked together my boots. And then I fell on in the hallway of the school. And then the kids came and looked at me and then the kids went around the corner and got their friends and had them come and look at me, which was really embarrassing. I'll tell you the other one in a minute. All right, and the other one, the other embarrassing moment was when I was in elementary school, went to go sit down in class and the chair broke so I fell on my ass on the floor broken chair now <clears throat> this had happened to a small person not as big a deal right just be like well that chair was broken that's crazy but fat young lady broken chair floor not good so I had to go and and not only did that happen, then the teacher made me go and find another chair from a different classroom. This is like elementary school. I don't think that's right. I think the teacher should have gone. Come back. I think. I think the teacher should have gone and found another chair for me instead of making me go with one of the kids from class who probably thought it was hilarious that it happened to go find another chair because I broke one because I was fat ass. I don't even think that's why. I think the chair was broken and I didn't know it. But still, that is horrifying and embarrassing. So those are my two most embarrassing moments that I can remember. I'm sure there have been other ones, but I don't, as an adult, get embarrassed that easily. Um, because what the fuck do I have to be embarrassed about? I'm an adult lady. I do what I want. People do what they want. They say what they want. I don't care. Whatever. Do whatever. Um, and if I'm out in public and someone wants to say something that they think is going to embarrass me, it probably won't work. Because I don't really get embarrassed. And I also don't like for other people to get embarrassed. Like, if I'm around and something happens and someone's like someone says a word wrong or something and then someone else is like mm, no you, ha, 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 you're an idiot it's supposed to be said like this I'll just try to play it down even if I knew how it was supposed to be said it's not even about that it shouldn't even be about that like how it's supposed to be said and how you said it it should just be about okay I know what you mean but I just want to tell you in a helpful way that this is the actual word that you meant to say. So that the next time you say it, you say it right. Instead of just being like, <laughs> is that really what you think it means, <laughs> idiot? That's not nice. That's embarrassing and not helpful. So I don't like for other people to be embarrassed either. And if I see someone fall, I'll like purposely look away so that if they look at me, they think I didn't see them fall. Cause I, I don't want to embarrass anybody. So that's my story about embarrassing things. Peace.